Welcome back. This is really exciting. Um, we have so many amazing guests joining us right now. Um, I used to think I was really smart, but I can tell my IQ in the room is much lower in the ranking system compared to where it was before all of you got here. Uh, Arizona Science Center here. Sari, how you doing? I'm doing all right, Steve. How you doing? Great. So who, who are all these people joining us? All right. So you may know, or if you don't, Arizona Science Center hosts the Arizona Science and Engineering Fair every spring, and it brings together the top young scientists in the state to compete for honors and awards. And today I've brought with me four of our senior winners who have competed against hundreds of their peers uh, to win out spots at the International Science and Engineering Fair coming up next month. When you walked in through the door, the first thing you said to me, you're like, if you, like hope for the world. Absolutely. They are the hope for the world. They are. You know what? I mean, some of us think about the classic. We were talking about the baking soda and vinegar volcano. A lot of yes. people think of that when they think of science fairs. These students are doing incredible real research mm -hmm. that could change the world. They are my hope for the future. Wonderful. Well, let's start learning about that research. Uh, first off, thanks for joining us. What's your name? Thank you. My name is Aditya Lakshmi Rasamhan, and I'm from Basis Scottsdale. And my project is about studying RSV to human protein interactions using machine learning for better vaccine outcomes. Better, vac okay, better vaccine outcomes. Okay, walk me through that a little bit more. Yeah, so one of my main motivations with research is to yeah. make meaningful impact that can improve people's lives. And I basically combined three state-of-the-art machine learning models to approach this. How many hours did you work on this? Ooh, it's about eight months of effort, so Whew, a lot of eight hours. Months. <laughs> That's amazing. I could ask you 500,000 more questions, but we got to move on here. Thank you so much. Incredible work. What's your name? My name is Annalise Spinicki, and my project was designing a drone-based sensor deployment method for improved forest monitoring. And it's important because there is a current need for data collection in forest environments for wildfire prevention and climate change. This is, do you just hear all of those words? I'm like trying to, to, to grasp all this. Okay, so in, I mean, you've got all of these charts here and everything like this. So, how, so this is, I imagine, I mean, hearing this before and now this, there's real world implications to everything you're doing. Yes, absolutely. I want to um, implement this into a real world setting to test the data collections. Congrats on all of this work. Thank this you. is amazing. Okay, what's your name? Hello, my name is Bao Chan, and I'm a senior at Hamilton High School. Fantastic. Tell me about your work here. So my project studies the molecular mechanisms underlying neuroinflammation, specifically its potential epigenetic basis. And this is important because it can help us better understand the neuroinflammatory process and ultimately help us develop more effective treatments for neuroinflammation-related di diseases, which range from neurodegenerative diseases to metabolic syndrome. What got you into this work? Why this? Well, I did my project with a lab at Arizona State University, which introduced me to the realm of epigenetics, and this is my second year working with this lab, so I've been having an amazing time. You, you sound like you just love this. Yes. I can just see the smile on your face. You just love this so much. Um, congratulations. This Thank is incredible you. work. Uh, what's your name? Hello, my name's Yuvon, and I go to Basis Peoria. Essentially, my project is to design a drone that improves aerial capabilities and uh, battery life by interlocking them to be used in a variety of applications, such as factory logistics to rescue operations. To be able to have that longer battery yeah, life. Yeah, to that's have that longer huge. battery life. So drones can like connect mid-flight, similar to how aircraft refueling works, to improve their battery life to be used in a variety of applications. What, what made you interested in this? Yeah, so my uncle used to always do like drone projects, so I kind of got interested through him. My, also my grandfather too, he used to be an electrical engineer. So he kind of like brought me into the interest of like engineering. In that's, that's so incredible. Thank you all so much. Congratulations, all of you for this. Sari, this, they're just incredible, aren't they? They're incredible. I am so wowed. And last year, students brought home over half a million dollars worth of prizes from the oh, International wow. Fair. So uh, with just a sample size, we have 14 projects going. This is four of those 14 projects, and they're amazing. So I can anticipate that we'll see some great awards this year, too. Fantastic. If you want to enter for next year and all of that, Science Center, that's where you go. You get all that info there. Perfect. Talk to your science teacher. <laughs> there you go. Talk to your science teacher. Perfect.